Blessings, everyone. So we are going to answer the question of what does it mean to expand consciousness? So when we expand consciousness, it means to move beyond our past and take responsibility for what it means to move into our future. Okay, so we were just talking about what it means to evolve in consciousness and how we can connect that to evolving physical form. So we're gonna just go right into my little drawing here. Of course, I'm gonna do my, my pyramid or my triangle. Okay, so now when we look at this, so we all know the, the five levels of consciousness, so I'll just go through it one more time. So it's being unconscious, awakening to and it doesn't this isn't just awakening like our awakening that we have um i'm gonna guess that there's some of you on the call that just were born awake and or but we always have different levels of awakening to the maybe unconscious programming or different levels of truth as we raise in consciousness we're going to awaken to things that weren't in, even in our reality before. So there's different ways of awakening. So it's not necessarily that, oh, well, I went back to level one. Like this is, all this is showing us is that there's more that there is to be seen. On more of a collective, this is the level that would hold collective consciousness. <laughs> but, and then this like this way we're going to actually move into how that also determines what our cells create as a reality within that level of consciousness the second level of consciousness is um a waking up <laughs> so it's becoming aware of the next or becoming aware of whatever it was that we weren't able to see before the third level of consciousness is moving into um taking that awareness and trying to shift into the reality that that awareness holds. So for like the abundance, it would be moving into trying to create abundance or making it happen on a level of physical form. And I know a lot of you that were in DQ body that you would relate to this. It's like doing the work and trying to make it work. <laughs> so it's doing the clearings and trying to make it clear or doing the I am statements and trying to make that happen. And a lot of us get stuck here. And what is trying to happen right now just with the way the universe is bringing in these higher frequencies is it's forcing all of us that have been on this path for a really long time to break out of this level of consciousness. And the next level of consciousness is co-creation. And it's bringing not only the listen and do, listen and do, but bringing that into the body and allowing the space to relate, to stay in the unknown or to exist without evidence until we can consciously move into that space. Well, let's take that on to a physical level. It's holding the space within our own cellular intelligence for it to reprogram to what is next because if we're constantly moving into trying to make it happen it's not going to happen <laughs> we have to move past that level of consciousness not only in the way we think in the way we reflect that those thoughts into our reality but also the level of intelligence of what we're holding in our physical form and then the last level is creator and this is kind of, I touched on this a little bit last week and it was really cool when I had the visualization of what it is where we're becoming. And when we are in this level of consciousness and our cells are holding this level of consciousness, there is no survival patterns. There is no male or female. We are in perfect form. And because of that, this is the, like the other thing that came to me is that there's no need for um, infancy. We just come in and we come in whatever form that we want to hold that form for as long as we want to. And then we 
either shift forms or just shift in dimension of form. So we literally become a multidimensional being and there is no need for in infancy anymore. So there isn't the evolution of consciousness through age because we already hold all levels of consciousness. So kind of soak that in, like that's really going out there. So, but I wanted to talk to you about like how this is, I kind of connected it to the body just now, but how that will actually shift our reality as we move through these different levels of consciousness. Because each time we move through one of these and we actually master even the four, we're raising our frequency to where we're going to start tuning into higher level frequency patterns. And as we do that, so you can imagine what reality this first state of collective consciousness will just say that this represents for right now, that it's going to be dense. <laughs> There's going to be disease. There's going to be all the programming that most of us believe. And that is going to be the reality when we are in that state of consciousness, that is the reality that we will experience. When we move up, even if it's just moving up to the awakening, but let's say this is our fifth or sixth or seventh or awakening, like this, we're continuing to do this. Every time that we have an awakening, we are raising our frequency. And because of we became, we became aware of we can't move back down. We can't unsee what was seen. We can turn it off and pretend and create a resistance pattern around it. But once it's seen, it's seen. Our, frequent, our body knows what it is to hold that frequency. And so whether or not we decide to move past that and move into these higher levels, of course, that's the goal. And I hope that we all do. But by just wake, awakening to this, and that's why when all these people are starting to awaken right now, we're really setting up a pattern for the entire world to move into a higher frequency. Because once it's seen, it can't be unseen. And that frequency pattern is there for everybody. And so we will eventually move into everybody seeing in a higher frequency reality, even if it's just one notch. But then we have us that are on the call that are willing to continue to do these patterns. And what ends up happening is that we start to create a pattern at a much higher level. It is there. We keep seeing and we keep seeing and we keep seeing. And then it doesn't mean that this reality isn't existing because it still is. And there's going to be people that are still going to exist here. But if we're existing up here, we don't see them anymore. They aren't there. And I had this really cool thing that happened was it was just like the perfect example of this <laughs> is I was out on a hike and I was in my own little world as I always am and I'm doing my, my frequency work and all of this and I come up and I pass a man and it happened to be an old doctor of my kids when they were just little babies and he had retired and, and he was like, I, he was like, this is really weird, but I saw you coming up, but I didn't see you at the same time. And I thought that that was really big of him to be able to admit that. And he was like, he was like, did you see those kids that just passed that were, um, like they had like beers and like, they were all like these college kids that were just out on a journey and being really obnoxious. I didn't even see them. I literally passed them on the trail and I didn't even see them. So he was at a level of consciousness where he saw them. He was in a level of consciousness where he could see me but wasn't sure if he saw me until I came into his field of, of reflection. So that is what I'm talking about right here. It's that those lower states of consciousness, we just won't see them anymore. And Eric and I just did this really amazing podcast where we were talking about, we don't have to go try to find things anymore. We don't have to go out there and look for information. We are the information center. 
We are the beacon, and whatever information is supposed to come into our field of resins will come in through saying yes and wanting to do something or listening to um, a podcast and you get the guidance system to do this. What I, like the part that I'm talking about is that here's a perfect example. You wake up in the morning and you wake up and you have this unsettling feeling. Well, why do I have an unsettling feeling? Oh, I'm going to go on the internet and find out what's going on in the world. Instead of what unsettling feeling am I having, fully exploring it on our, on our own, like really going in and touching base with that, knowing that if the universe has something to show you, you will be shown. And what that's doing is allowing you to move out of social consciousness and move into co-creation. It's moving out of just being aware that I feel this, out of I need to know why, into I'm fully going to trust that the universe is constantly going to give me exactly what I need. And I think that, you know, I could even put my own life in this category because I was told over five years ago to stop listening to YouTube videos, to stop listening to podcasts, to not read any books. It, I'm not going to say it. it's it's been difficult at times for sure. But what it taught me is that I always get the information that I need. And, and there is times that somebody sends me something and I'm told, read it or watch it. But I'm always told, I don't go looking for it. And because of that, I have been able to really move into what is true for me and not what is true for somebody else what is my truth and what is the reflection of that truth, not as what is the reflection of somebody else's truth. So if there was anything that I want us all to play with this week is to, to practice when we're looking for information because we're afraid to trust our own guidance. Hmm. And now we're going to do, well, we'll open it up to questions first, but then we'll do um, a code. And then for those of you that are not in New Earth Pathways, please sign up because this work that we're starting to do in there is getting very, very advanced and it's $11 a month. It's literally enough money for us to pay the platform that's holding our space. And I am so excited about the activation that we're going to do next week that I want everybody there because this is the level that we're moving into you. And um, I, that, I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay, so let's open it up to questions. Um, Jules, I have a question. First of all, I, I'm in New, New Earth Pathways, and it is awesome. And in just a short period of time, it is such an effective connection with high energy that lasts mm -hmm. for a really long time, and that is just so expansive. And I have not missed uh, activation yet, as long as I've been a member. So I highly recommend it. <laughs> All right. So my question is, Jules, um, as I start to, and again, it's hard to use words sometimes, as I start to become more sensitive or more open, um, I, I feel myself taking in information differently and it's not so much with my senses like with my sight and smell and it's getting more to like sensing the energy of it and then when you just said being like in so many words being true to yourself i feel like now that i'm starting to sense energy more then i can resonate or discern for myself what is true for me and what I connect with. Say that last part because the answer was in that last part, the like very last part of what you just said. Um, the more that I learn or the more that I naturally or connect 
with the energy of information or something, then I'm able to discern the truth of it more and the truth of it more for me and how I resonate with it. And that is a form of learning beyond the senses. What you just described was, I think it was last week, what we did in um, the abundance class. So it's like being the nine. So it's the God's fear. And then nine plus nine. So it's basically being nine plus nine because you're still in reflection but it's at the same time, you're able to hold the truth or the realities of all the other like realities you could say. So you were able to bring in the information of each of these frequency patterns or levels of the realities that are out there by still holding the reflection of the divine. So what that means is you're reading every level of truth that's there or maybe a couple let's like you know it doesn't have to be every so you could you could take in all the different levels of truth knowing that in that frequency pattern that is the truth but you could take it in all at one time and then decipher which one are true for me right now which one of them works for me right now like how can i absorb this to reflect the highest frequency of where I'm at now, or how can I absorb all of this to understand the reality of somebody else I may be in contact with? So it's not out of judgment, it's just out of information. And I love how you use the word information because there's no judgment in information. It's just there, we just see it. We are, we're reading it, we see it, and, you know, and then if we bring a judgment around what we're seeing, then it becomes a judgment but it's a really cool way to exist in life. I mean, this is unity. Like this is oneness. This is be oneness and bringing it into different levels of focus and then being able to expand back out and see it as the whole. Does that make sense? Yeah. Awesome. Yay. Well, it, so it, it, cool. thank, <laughs> thank you for sharing that, Melinda. Like keep playing in that because that's, there's a very high level of consciousness in there. And if you can really practice that, it'll be really fun to see where your experiences go. And this is left. And, you know, I used to feel, and still somewhat so, that I had to work so hard to get myself at a certain level. Then I couldn't open up to other people. And the more that I feel adept at a certain level, then I'm able to open up to other people and hold the frequency in different situations that I was not able to before. So much fun. I say we all practice that this week. <laughs> because that's what this is all about. It's about practicing. You know, it's one thing to sit here and talk about this. It's a whole nother thing to go and actually practice it because that's where we're going to start seeing the results in our lives is when we start to apply it to our life. Thank you, Melinda. Does anybody else have anything they want to share or a question? All right, well, let's do, let's do the own code. Okay, I'm already getting chills. So after we do the own code, I'm, we're just going to get off because last time I, it overtook me so much that I just like, I, I think that's going to happen again because I can already feel it. <laughs> so let's just all get off and just hold each other in love and uh, we'll see each other again soon. I know. All right. All right. So let's enter the heart and just start to breathe. We're going to move into the recorder cell. Okay. So before I move into the nucleus where there's a download that's coming into the belly of the cell. And this is a frequency pattern that has no words. So I'm just going to watch it come in, just feel it 
and it's as it's coming in it's bouncing out of the cell and almost like a ping pong ball it's just bouncing all over the different energy patterns of the brain and I can tell you what it means in just one moment okay so beautiful so this is the frequency pattern allowing us to do very similar to what Melinda just said. So it's being able to exist as the whole sphere, but then also read information within the sphere just by shifting our focus from being the sphere and all of it at one time to seeing one level of the sphere. So we're gonna play with that and allow that to download. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and enter the nucleus of the cell. Let me just see if there's something to clear. Okay, so we're clearing code negative one, 11, one, two, five. We're watching that clear. And this is the pattern that I need to be able to see, I need to be able to exist in order to hold the divine mind. I need to be able to see, I need to know I exist in order to experience the divine mind. I need to be able to see and know I exist in order to find freedom within the divine mind. We're gonna watch this leave. And it's clearing all the energy patterns of the brain that hold this program of needing to see and know we exist in order to be in the divine mind. Beautiful. And now we're gonna allow the new code to come in. It is positive one, 33, four, 11, five, bouncing back and forth across the double helix. And this is the frequency pattern of holding the master creator in physical form, bringing it into physical form, bringing it into creating a foundation through the divine mind as we enter the frequency of being the change, being in travel, being the shift, allowing ourselves to be the change without the reflection of the change itself. And this is expanding right out into all the energy centers of the brain. And then we're bringing this right into every cell and every molecule of the body in the space in between. And then it expands two feet out from the body as we fully embrace and emerge in the frequency of being the change. We move into being the change with ease, joy, peace, and love. And we allow this to lock in in sequence. And it is done.